Well, notice the angel's message in verse 7 is called the eternal gospel. The message of the eternal gospel. What is the message of the eternal gospel? It's join those from the Garden of Eden through the end of humanity in the millennial time. Join those who worship God. Who worship the true God, not a false God, and who worship the true God in truth, the way he's revealed. Not in a self-styled way. God doesn't accept that. Not in a false way. God doesn't accept that. In fact, remember in the Old Testament when people did their self-styled worship and they wanted to do it their way, the Lord burned them. Aren't you glad you don't live in the Old Testament, right? How would you like to come here this morning and think, hope I don't do anything wrong. Don't want to get burned up. No, the Lord says, worship me in spirit, being born from above, redeemed through the blood of Christ and in truth. Worship is so important to God. Well, what's the eternal message? Fear God, give him glory, worship him. Those who live forever are those who respond to the gospel. Those who respond to the gospel become true worshipers of the true God. At the end of everything, how does God summarize those who possess eternal life? Revelation 22, 9, he says they worship God. Those who live forever while they were on earth joined the worshipers of the true and living God. Worship God, that's the everlasting gospel. That's the message that God has given from eternity to eternity. Worshiping God is the theme of scripture. It's the theme of eternity. It's the theme of redemptive history. God redeems people to worship him as the true, the living, and the one and only glorious God. And he said, I am the God who has a son, and I sent my son to be the savior of the world. And if you want to know who the true God is, follow the line to his son and find the one who died for your sins. That's the worship message. Before creation, after creation, in eternity past, in eternity future, throughout all time in between, worship is the theme. Worship is the central issue of creation. God made creation to worship him, and God made the creatures to worship him. 